Soul Free with Harlan Freeman, your home for sneakers and culture, starts in 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. We've seen so many great films and talked to so many incredible people, but I'm so excited about this one. It's the world premiere of Open Heart, the Henrik Lundqvist story. The king, the king of New York, former New York Ranger goalie, and it's all going down here at Tribeca Festival 2023. When you play with someone as a teammate, you get to know them you know, beyond what they do on the ice. And he, he's just the, the ultimate competitor, but also you know, a friend because he has this growth mindset in everything he does. And uh, this project is a bit of it sharing that side of him. I think the big takeaway is that, you know, as athletes, you're always overcoming challenges. Um, that's what being an athlete is all about. You know, not everyone wins all the time, uh, but it's how you grow as a person through those challenges. And I think it's amazing that Hank has decided to share his story in this way. Henrik's game, playing with him, we'll get to the friendship after, uh, extremely focused. That's what sets the best apart. Um, you know, the elite players can get in the zone where they uh, numb everything out, and he was always able to do that. And that's why we had such great years here in New York while he was playing and leading our team. It was unfortunate what happened, um, especially when kind of having a second bite of the apple and being able to go to Washington. And, uh, you know, I personally shot on him for about three or four months getting him ready. And, uh, you know, the circumstances that happened just wouldn't allow it. So um, he's landed on his feet. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's an unfortunate situation. But I think it's made him stronger and uh, appreciate the career he did have. Henrik is uh, a guy who's so brave. He's uh, willing to grab that third rail that athletes rarely ever touch, which is honesty. And uh, the end of his career was really painful for him, and he was not afraid to open up and really discover how he could turn that into something meaningful in his life. So it's such a brave thing to do. Uh, it's so different and everything in his life before that point was all about hockey and then he had to find out how to live and he allowed our cameras to be part of that. And so I'm so grateful. So we're here with the man of the night. He's, you've been the man of the night for many nights in New York. But tonight's a very special night. It's the world premiere of his documentary, Open Heart. It's Henrik Lundqvist. How are you feeling tonight, brother? I feel good. You know, this has been on my mind for a while, working on this project for, I think, our first meetings with, with Jonathan, the director, was probably a year and a half ago, talking about my experience and, and how we want to tell this story. But to be honest, I, I wasn't sure how he was going to tell this story. I was just telling him what I went through, what I felt. Yeah. And, you know, it's, um, here we are. And, and one of the things we talked about early on, because I live in Tribeca and done so the past eight years, we wanted it to premiere here in Tribeca. So it feels really good that we're here. As a world-class athlete, as, you know, um, how's it, like, what, what was that tell where, where you finally at one point said, okay, I'm with doctors all the time, I have to ask about this or I have to take care of this it was actually an absolute shock to me that I could not play hockey yeah, I you know to me and I think for all athletes it, it's like no-brainer I'm gonna play this game until the day I don't want to play it anymore yeah. and for it to be taken away from you of course it's a sense of loss in that and it was a lot of soul searching and a lot of thoughts that I think a lot of athletes have different experiences how it ends yeah. Uh, but in the end, it's, it's a loss. It's something that you love doing and something you've done since you were a kid, right? Yeah. So, of course, you, you, I, I think you have to work on that. And, and for me, I just found a lot of gratitude towards my experience and the opportunities I had as a hockey player and to play in New York for the Rangers. Uh, but definitely, I, I worked on it, for sure. And, and I was very happy when I when it was in the end. I, I, where I landed was just a ton of, of gratitude towards so many things. Imagine, you know, it's so funny. I look at the work you do off the ice. I look at your foundation. I look at the work you do for Garden of Dreams and 
USDA Foundation, I feel like this is another gift you're giving back, making men aware of, you know, get yourselves checked, make sure you're yeah. okay. For me, being around great people and, and great energy, and sometimes the more you give, the more you get. The 2023 Hockey Hall of Fame class. Some of the parts were obviously not planned. It just, a lot of the stuff actually, I just recorded because it was part of my journey. And then afterwards, when we, I started talking to Jonathan about, you know, making this film, I just thought like, oh, maybe we had this piece and that piece. I think we had a couple of shots with, with the crew. Other than that, it's a lot of homemade videos. And so to them, it was normal. But I think the girls are excited to see it. And, and uh, I think one or two scenes they were not <laughs> super happy about. But it, again, it's very personal. And I, I think we will look back at it as, as a great memory. Henry, thank you so much for being everything you've been to New York. Oh, thank you so much. Pleasure. Appreciate it.